like to call up Joe from the Peps. Fabulous <laughs> Peps. I would just like to say right now to Mr. Norman Thatcher. Um, my career started with a guy named Robert West and a radio station called WCHB here in Detroit. I was 10 years old. Um, one year in, I don't know, 55, 54, 55, I went to the, car, the Castle Theater on, the, on Haston Street and saw a rock and roll show. I, I was with my mom and a bunch of those. I was a kid. <clears throat> on, the, on the lead on the show was a guy named Lil Willie John. And when he stepped on that stage, I knew what I wanted to do for you know. I mean, it was so much. And then when we won this record contest, the, uh, the prize was a recording contract with uh, Bumblebee Records, Robert West. And my producer was Sonny Woods, Freddie Prime, and Joe Hunter. So all those guys, and just before I uh, got out of high school, the, I saw the Midnighters and the uh, Isley Brothers, and it was another group at the Greystone Theater. I was in high school then, my mom was having no, no singing for me. But I knew then again that that was what I wanted to do. I saw you guys. And I was like, wow, here I go again. When I got out of school, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. They was trying to send me to Vietnam. I was like, what am I going to do? I had a scholarship to go to, to uh, Florida and them to play football. I went down there to, over the summer. And there was a guy there that big. And he said, little dude, uh, what, part, what position you play? I said, well, I played quarterback in high school. He looked at me and said, kick off me. <laughs> the guy was this big. I quit. <laughs> I came back. I ran into um, my cousin Lee Rogers. He took me to a club. And in that club, I saw David Ruffin, Tony Clark, and a guy named Roger Wade and Betty LeVette. And uh, I knew again what, was I, what I was going to do. And ever since that day, I've been singing. I. Uh, I, I'm blessed to be in this, this, this inductees for this year because my history is, a, is, is, is just embossed in this. I mean, Chuck Jackson took me out of here with the Peps. We did 10 days with him at the 20 Grand, <clears throat> and him, he and Yvonne Fair. When we got to the Apollo, we did seven days and he fired us. <laughs>